Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I want to announce a new update for AIMatic and starting from now it will be able to use the AI batch requests API from OpenAI. So if you are using OpenAI API key in the settings you will be able to benefit of AI batch requests menu here and this will actually be allowing you to use more advanced features of the plugin so this is <clears throat> a very useful feature if you are um, somebody who wants to create a large number of ai generated content and uh, also at a discount so this is a really really nice feature for people who have large bulk processing needs and they also want that to happen over time not instantly because the batch api is something that openai released and it is useful when running evalu evaluations classifying large data sets embedding content repositories and this is something that openai describes and the advantages of this batch api is that openai actually provides 50 percent cost discount compared to the regular api so you will be able to pay only half price for the ai generated content that you will be getting also you will have higher rate limits the token limit is in the millions if i understand it correctly and also there are fast completion times the maximum completion time is around 24 hours but often the requests complete more quickly and now let me show you how to use the batch api to process your ai request so first of all you need to prepare a batch file you can prepare a batch file manually like in this example or you can use the manual batch file generator here you will be able to enter um, system prompt and the user prompt for your batch file so for example you are a helpful assistant and the user how old is the earth okay so we can click save and add new and we have this line of input we can add infinitely more lines of input like this so if we want we can neglect this and keep only the user input and afterwards we can download the data or also load data from file but most importantly these settings uh, are important so which the purpose of the file is batch model base is the completions and also we can select a model which we will be using so gpt 3.5 turbo or other models gpt um, uh, if you want you can also use embeddings text embeddings free large and free small ada gpt 4o is not yet supported by openai for this feature but they will release support also for gpt 4o soon and we can create a custom file name we can tell new for example and we can go ahead and simply upload it to openai or we can save it locally to our server so we can upload it to openai and upload was successful now we can go to manage ai batch request files sync files and the new json l was uh, did appear here so now we need to create a new batch request using this file so for this go to manage ai batch request add new batch request and select the file that we uploaded so it was named uh, i think it's new yeah it's new json l 
and the completion window currently is only supported by OpenAI to set B to be 24 hours and the endpoint needs to be the same as the model that you selected so for this we have v1 chat completions if you use embeddings you select embeddings but for other models currently it's completions now click add and the batch request was created in OpenAI's backend it is validating and in 24 hours you will get a result for it so let me show you how this will look you can also cancel this request i have here two more uh, tasks in progress these are from today in the morning and it is the noon now so they are running for some hours we can sync them using this button it is important to sync them as uh, the syncing will update their status from OpenAI. Also, if you have a task marked as completed, you can click details here and you will be getting the output file like this. You can click it and the OpenAI dashboard will open up and uh, you will be able to see details about it here or you can click download for it and you will be able to download the results locally and if we open this up we will see that we have an id custom id is that from the input file and response we have here the response and uh, the chat response is here content I do indeed speak English. How can I assist you today? So this is the response and let me show you also the input file just to compare the two. So the input file is this. We have role system. You are a helpful assistant. You are an unhelpful assistant. Okay. So the content is uh, hello world user said hello world assistant said sia in hungarian and the user said do you speak english in both cases okay and the response is here i do indeed speak english how can i assist you today igen beszélek angolul is and this is hungarian okay so as you can see you will be able to get these responses in uh, files these files uh, can be parsed by uh, your own tools or they can be parsed manually and the content can be extracted manually from it them but uh, if you want let me know in the comments and i will be working also on a part of the plugin which parses these result files because i think that this is also important to parse the result file and to get your content from them so if you want this feature let me know and i will be glad to add this also to the plugin so the main part of this is that openai offers discounts on this batch api uh, results uh, batch api processing and uh, they will be able to provide 50 percent off which is huge especially if you have a large data set and large number of uh, things that you want to process and 50% uh, is really really a lot for you guys who want large processing um, numbers and cases okay so we have seen that we have also some failed tasks in case of failed tasks we have here the in, yeah, I tested the input and I put invalid input um, in the input file just to check how this will um, how OpenAI will reply and I added the errors that OpenAI uh, returns here there will be also cases when the task will appear as completed however an error file will be generated and request count will be failed some in this case you can download and check the error file result let's check also the error file to see its results so in this case the max token expected an integer so in i fixed this issue this will not 
no longer appear so this error will no longer appear also some tasks are appearing as cancelled if you hit cancel for this they will no longer run and they will appear as cancelled on openai's part you can add a new batch request sync all batch requests with openai and delete delete ai batch request local database it's safe to click this button because this will delete only the local batch request database and if you click sync all AI batch requests with OpenAI, they will be synced once again. So let's do this just to show you how this will work. So we delete the entire database which is locally stored and we resync the database with OpenAI and here it is. The tasks are re-imported and the batch requests are once again visible in here in our backend okay so this is the main part of the batch request you can create the files for the batch request manually you can upload them to open ai in the manage ai batch request files you can choose the manual files here that you created and click upload to open ai or you can create the batch request with the batch file generator that i showed you also for embeddings this will, this will be similar you can add your prompt for embeddings here click save and add new and it will also be able to be uploaded to open ai and uh, what should i tell you more i think that i covered made the entire functionality of the plugin here you will see the batch request that you created and i already explained details click the details button for info on how it run and you will be able to view the output here okay and completion time it's around one hour 50 uh, usually but can be even more <clears throat> so and manage ai file batch request files you will be able to download or delete the files that you created so the batch files purpose batch files are the files that you uploaded and batch output files are the files that a open ai generated for you these are errors or the result files okay so i think we covered things here aimatic is linked in this video description like share subscribe if you enjoyed this update and yeah thanks for watching until the end this is all for today have a nice day bye bye